I cannot have enough of Mistral 7B. I believe Mistral 7B is the best model, especially in 7 billion category at the moment. Not only it is good for a lot of generic tasks, I think when it comes to generative AI, models will be following the future models. I mean, the example of this Mistral 7B. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can fine tune this Mistral 7B on the data sets. I'll be using this GATH based data set for this example. And it took me around 30 to 35 hours on AWS EC2 instance G4DN 12X large to train this model. So instead of just making a 30, 35 hour video, I'm just going to share the steps which I use and you can follow along. So heads off to this get based uh, data set, which has made it quite easy. And it took me a few tries to do it, but at last I was able to find the unit. So let me show you the steps which I use. Now, this these steps have been pulled out from a lot of um, code samples from uh, online. So, but I believe if you follow it along, you should be able to install it. So first, what I did in the step one, I installed these prerequisites. Once these prerequisites were done, I created the data set. And this is the data set which I used and which I already showed you on um, the Hugging Face page. So heads off again and thank you for this data set to get next. And then I loaded the data set name. Once that's done, I loaded the base model, which is Mr. All 7B because this is the model we are going to fine tune. And then after loading it, we are initializing the WAN DB for instrumenting what we are going to do. And you would need the authorization key from WAN DB side. If you don't know how to do it, I have another video where I show uh, how to use this WAN, uh, how to get this WAN DB authorization key. It's free, so you don't worry about it. Then we prepare this model for some of the parameters which you can use uh, in order to um, fine tune it. So, and then, uh, and these are all default values. I'm just picking it up with LoRa Alpha, LoRa Dropout and stuff. And then once that's done, um, we are specifying hyperparameters. Now these hyperparameters, they mainly depend upon the hardware you are using. So I have, I have been using this G4D812X large for most of my videos. So you can use the same one. Uh, I believe that they work in most of the cases. And to, if you don't know many of them, don't worry about it. Uh, but don't forget to put this VanDB um, thing because it will introduce instrumentation in your application. And also we are going to put in some of the SFTP parameters there. And then when that's done, you need to start a training job and that will take some time depending upon the data set. And as I said that on AWS EC2 instance G4D and 12XLR, it took me around I would have 33 hours um, approximate on this data set. But depending upon data set, it might take longer for you. Uh, so be aware of that. But so once that's done, your model will be ready and you can start testing it. And if you look back at that um, Hugging Face page, they mentioned some of the prompts which you can use from this page. And I will drop the link in video description. I hope that you enjoyed it. Uh, if you have any questions, please ask them in the comments. And if you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you very much.